The Mini Rifle, known as the Mini A6 or STA No. 8, evolved as a part of the program initiated in 1890 by the French military to develop a semi-automatic infantry rifle that would eventually replace the MLE 1886-93 level rifle. Four government research establishments, STA, ANT, PUDIAS, and CTV, proposed over 20 prototypes. About half of them were based on recoil, both short recoil and long recoil, and the others were gas-operated. This secret program was placed under the direction of General Nakalaroque who headed the Pudias, APX, government arsenal. History Shortly after the adoption of the level 1886 and its revolutionary ammunition, two brothers, Claire, built a semi-automatic shotgun in 1888, an 8mm semi-auto pistol in 1892, and prototypes of semi-auto rifles were made in 1894. In addition, the adoption in 1888 of the German Commission's cure with its rimless cartridge had shown the obsolete design of the French 8x50mm rimmed case. Programs were initiated to design a new cartridge and a new rifle. Cartridge Development The Section Technique de l'Artillerie, STA, developed various rimless high-performance cartridges from 1890 to 1912. Among these cartridges, some were retained. 6x58 many 1897 6x60 and 1900 6.5x60 cap 1905 6.5x61 sta 1910 6.5x55.5 Berthier 1910 7 x 59 STA 1912 7x57 Mini 1912 Rifle Development Between 1894 and 1913, there was a fierce competition to develop a new rifle. They were tested by Section Technique de l'Artillerie, Artillery Technical Section aka STA Rifle A1 later redesigned as Rifle A4. Rifle A2 STA5. Rifle A3 STA6. Carbine A4. Rifle A5 STA7. Rifle A6 STA8, 7mm Mini Rifle. Ecole Normale de Tier, National Shooting School aka ENT. Rifle B1, ENT 1901, System Raw Signal. Rifle B2. System Raw Signal. Rifle B3, Ant 1902, System Belgrand. Rifle B4, System Raw Signal. Rifle B5, System Raw Signal. Rifle B6, System Belgrand. Rifle B7, System Chiseau. Rifle B8, System Val Arnaud. Commission Technique de Versailles, Versailles Technical Commission aka CTV. Etablissement Technique de Pudias, Pudias Technical Section aka APX. Rifle C1 CTV1. Rifle C2 CTV2 System Chow Chat. Rifle C3 APX3, System Chow Chat and Sutter. Rifle C4 APX4. Rifle C5 System Chow Chat and Sutter Modified Nakalarok aka Rifle NL. Rifle C6, NL. Rifle C7, NL. Rifle C8 System Chow Chat and Sutter aka Indochinese rifle due to its shorter size, developed to arm indigenous troops in Indochina. Test Results Out of the various semi-automatic prototypes being tested only three emerged as offering industrial potential. The 7mm Ent B5 rifle by Rossignol which inaugurated direct gas impingement into the bolt. The 7mm APX C7 rifle by Chow Chat, Sutter, and Nakalaroque, which was based on the Browning long recoil system of 1900. The 7mm long recoil operated STA A6 rifle by Many, which was also partly derived from the Browning long recoil system of 1900. Adoption of the Many rifle The long recoil operated semi automatic Many rifle was adopted in 1910 to replace the level rifle. It gave excellent performance during the final trials, the 7mm Mini Rifle fired 3,000 shots without serious incidents. The A6 Mini Rifle was adopted in 1910, 
but its final ammunition specifications were not decided upon except for the caliber of 7 mm. There were endless debates between the government arsenals at Pudiaz and Tool concerning the length of the case and the bullet's velocity. The final choice for a case length of 56.95 mm, 2.242 in, was made in 1912, and the original loading delivered a muzzle velocity of over 1,000 meters per second. A lighter load was finally chosen in 1913, allowing the final adoption of the A6 Mini rifle. The onset of World War I in August 1914 put a halt to a project that would have equipped the French army with its first semi-automatic infantry rifle. Ammunition The rimless 7x59mm Mini round was substantially more powerful than 8mm level. The 7x59mm Mini had a muzzle velocity of 3,412 feet s, 1,040 m s. It had a steel core as well as the 7x57mm, 7.2x56.95mm, adopted the same year and retained later for the Mini rifle of 1916 with a velocity reduced to 2,690 feet s, 820 m s. Atelier de Construction de Pudiaz near Paris manufactured the cartridge, most of the rare samples known are marked APX 1917. Rifle Production During spring 1914, Moss tooled up to produce 5,000 many rifles each month, but the decision to launch mass production was cancelled due to the risk of introducing a new system at a moment when a conflict with Germany appeared inevitable. Eventually, 1,013 many rifles were manufactured at Tool Arsenal, Matt. By the time World War I broke out, these were tested in the trenches. Only 1,013 were ever manufactured, and the majority were lost in World War I rifles that survived World War I, and the post-war years of military refitting, ended up in museums, most were deactivated. Out of these few surviving rifles, almost all were looted and slash or lost during the Second World War. For surviving examples as of 2017, see section below. A carbine version is said to have been manufactured according to Jean Huan, in his book Proud Promise. It states that three were manufactured by cutting down long rifles. One of these carbines exists today in the collection of Springfield Armory in M.S., USA. It is not on display. Replacement for the Mini Rifle The Mini Rifle eventually lost out to the simply designed gas-operated MLE 1917 RSC semi-automatic rifle, which was built in large numbers, 86,000, during 1918. The MLE 1917 RSC was adopted because it was less expensive to manufacture since it used standard MLE 1886 M93 level rifle components, notably, the barrel, stock, forend, barrel bands, and trigger guard. Furthermore, the model 1917 RSC fired the standard 8mm level ammunition loaded on special 5 rounds clips. The Mini rifle, being long recoil operated like the Remington Model 8 rifle, was mechanically more complex and only fired special 7mm high power rimless ammunition. Museum displays slash surviving examples. The many A6 rifle can be seen at the Musée de l'Armée, Les Invalides, Paris, France, as a part of the permanent WW1, 1914-1918, arms, uniforms, and equipments displays. The many A6 in their collection has been deactivated by drilling a hole in the chamber, it is no longer functional. No many A6 rifles are on display in museums anywhere in the United States or Canada. The Springfield Armory in M.S., USA, has in their archives a single Mini A6 carbine, a trials version manufactured by cutting down a full-length A6 rifle. Type Semi-Automatic Rifle Place of Origin France Service History Used by France Wars WW1 Production History No built 1013 rifles manufactured most lost during WW1 and subsequent looting in WW2. Less than five are known to survive today. Three carbines were also allegedly manufactured by cutting down long rifles. Variants Many A6 Rifle, Carbine Specifications Weight 4 kg Empty, 
4.6 kg with bayonet, 4.1 kg loaded, 4.8 kg loaded with bayonet. Caliber 7x5 9.7mm Many. Action Semi-Automatic, 5,10,15 round fixed magazines. To be loaded via 5 round stripper clips. Muzzle velocity no fully known due to lack of documentation, some sources say 800m slash s slash 2700 fps, some say more than 3000 fps. Feed system 5,10,15 round internal magazines, fed with 5 round clips. Sites open iron sights. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.